answered. For in Jesus' name we pray. More of his saving fullness see more of his love who died for me more about Jesus more more about Jesus more of his saving fullness more of his love who died for me I said more much more much more 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 about Jesus more of his saving fullness more of his love who died for me sing it more more much more much more 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 about Jesus more of his saving fullness more of his love who died for me more about Jesus would I know more of his grace to the show more of his saving fullness more of his love who died for me I said more more about Jesus much more 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 about Jesus More of his saving fullness More of his love who died for me Stands at you Everybody more, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, more of his saving fullness, more of his love who died for me. More about Jesus in his word Holding communion with my Lord Hearing his voice in every line Making it faithful saying mine Sing aloud Saving fullness, more of his love who died for me, more about Jesus on his throne, riches in glory, all his own, more of his kingdom, show increase. More of his coming, peace of peace, sing aloud. More, 
more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. I sing more, more about Jesus. Everybody sing more, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, more of His saving fullness, more of His love who died for me. I was once a sinner. But I can pardon to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that He always kept His word. There's a new name reaching down in glory, and it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. And the white robe angel sing the story. I'll sing now as come home. For there's a new name reaching down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam. I was simply kneeling at the cross, fearing not but God's angry frown. When the heavens opened, and I saw that my name was written down. There is a new name written down in glory, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. And a white robed angel sing the story. I'll sing now. Has come home for this new name, reaching out in glory, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam. In the book it's written that I am saved by grace. Oh, the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven. And I know by the blood I am made whole. There is a new name reaching down in glory. It's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sin.
there's a new name reaching out in glory and it's mine oh yes it's mine and the white robe angel sing the story I'll sing now as come home for there's a new name reaching down in glory and it's mine oh yes it's mine with my forgiven I am bound for heaven never more to roam there's a new name reaching down in glory and it's mine Oh yes, it's mine. And the white robed angel sing the story. I'll sing now as come home. For there's a new name reaching down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound. For heaven evermore to roam. I was once a sinner, but I came. I didn't you receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that He always kept His word. There is a new name reaching down in glory, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. And the white robed angel sing the story. I'll sing now as come home. For there's a new name reaching down in glory, and it's mine. Come over here. Oh yes, it's mine. I was humbly kneeling at the cross, fearing not but God's angry fire. When the heavens opened, and I saw. That my name was reaching down for this new name, reaching down in glory, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. And the white good angel sing the story. I'll sing now, as come home, for there's a new name. Reaching down in glory, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. Now, in the book, it's written that I'm saved by grace. Oh, the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven. And I know by the blood I am made whole. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam. With my
my sins Forgiven I am bound For heaven never more to roam With my sins forgiven I am bound For heaven never more to roam Thy word is a lamp to my feet A light to my path always to guide and to save me from sin and show me the heavenly way thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee that I might not sin, that I might not sin, thy word have I hid in my heart. Forever, O oh Lord, is thy word established and fixed on high. Faithfulness unto all men abideth forevermore. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee, that I might not sin. That I might not sin, thy word have I hid in my heart. At morning, at noon, and at night, I ever will give thee praise. The bread my portion, O Lord. I shall be through all my days. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That I might not sin. That I might not sin. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Through him whom thy word has foretold, the Savior and morning star, salvation and peace have been brought. To those who have strayed afar, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee, that I might not sin, that I might not sin, thy word. Have I hid in my heart? Oh, deeper yet I pray, and higher every day. And one, blessed Lord, in Thy precious holy word, deeper yet. Deep I yet I pray and higher every day. And what a blessed Lord in the blessed holy. Deep I yet, oh deep I yet I pray, yet I pray and Every day, and what a blessed Lord in thy precious holy word, 
School of wisdom, more of grace to know deeper now. Said Holy Spirit, take me keep us still till life is holy, lost in Jesus, and his perfect will, perfect will keep us yet higher and higher every day. Was a blessed Lord in thy precious holy word. Deeper, deeper, though it is, deeper, let me go. Rooted in the holy love of Jesus, let me fruitful grow. Yet I pray, yet I pray, and higher every day. And what's a blessed Lord in thy precious holy word. Every day in Jesus till all come. Deep out, deep, I yet up and high, high every day. Yet, but yet I pray and higher every day, every day. And what's a blessed Lord in the precious holy word? Deeper yet, deeper yet I pray and higher. Higher every day, and why the blessed Lord in thy precious holy word deeper yet, deeper. Yet, oh, deep, I yet I pray, yet I pray, and higher I, I every day. And why, so blessed Lord, clap in that prayer, holy, what deep I yet, oh, deep, I yet I pray, and higher. Higher every day, and what's a blessed word in thy precious wood? Deeper yet, deeper yet I pray, and higher every day, and what's a blessed word. In thy precious holy, deeper yet, deep, 
Ah, yes, I pray. I am every day. What's a blessed name? In thy precious holy word, I yet to give. I yet I pray. And oh, I am every day. And what's a blessed Lord. In thy precious holy word. Amen. May we be May we be the doers of the word of God. Praise the Lord. You are awake, you will be out of bed. I said, Praise the Lord. Why don't you rise up a moment so we can pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we come together this morning and we come around the word of God. This eternal word is unchanging word. And this word that will work miracle in every life. We pray that as we come here this morning, you'll be glorified in our lives in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, the power of your word will roll away every mountain from every life in Jesus' name. And this word will fulfill the joy of all your children. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Please be seated. We're looking at Psalm 119, verse 89. Psalm 119. Verse 89 Forever, O Lord, is thy word settled in heaven I want you to imagine in your mind The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit And then they brought the word in between them And the Father said, this is my word And Jesus said, yes, that's the word, the only word And the only word that will have authority the only word that will be honored in heaven. The only word that Almighty God will back up. And the Holy Spirit said, yes, and there will be nothing that will be able to effectively contradict that word. And after the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit had met on the word, and had affirmed the word, and they ratified the word with the blood of the Lamb, then the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost said, it is settled. Any word of promise in the Bible, it is settled. Any word of encouragement in the Bible, it is settled. Anything that brings the defeat of the devil in your life, it is settled. The word of salvation and the word of our preparation for heaven and the word that the Father had given to his own children from cover to cover. Every verse, every sentence, and every word there has been settled forever, O Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven. If you look at 152, that is the, the verse, verse 152 in that same psalm, concerning thy testimonies, concerning what you have said about yourself, Concerning what you have said about your word. Concerning what you have said about your promise. Concerning what you have said about your wonder-walking power. Consider thy considering thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Forever the word of God is settled. And that's why we have confidence as children of God. When we come before the Lord and we read His word and we apply the word to our lives because we know there is nothing that can contradict that word. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. Isaiah 40 verse 8. Grass, the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And when the Lord gives you any word today, that word will stand forever. I say that word will stand forever. The promise of God to you. The power of God that is carried forth into your life by the word of God. It is settled in heaven. That's why we come confidently this morning and we're looking at the message forever settled. I divide the message to three parts. Number one, the preservation 
of God's eternal word. The preservation of God's eternal word. Number two, the promise of God's established word. The promise of a God's established word. And then number three, the power of God's enduring word. The power of God's enduring word. Number one, the preservation of God's eternal word. As Jesus came to earth, he revealed something about the word of God and about his own words as well. In Luke chapter 21, reading from verse 33, Luke 21 verse 33, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. If you understand the import or the importance or the thing that the Lord Jesus Christ is saying. He said, for example, you've been living in this world for some time now. And you have seen the earth. You have seen the position of your village in a fixed location on earth. And you have seen the position of your city in a fixed location on earth. And you have, when you were very young, there was a particular river you knew. And the river had been there. And the Lord is saying, when you get to your village, and then they say the village has been shifted. The village is no more there. And then you get to the city, and they said that your house, everything was just moved away and relocated to another place. And then the river you always knew that was there. You get there, the river is no more there. You say, what is happening? In the night, you look up, and the stars are no more there, and the moon is not there. And then in the afternoon, you look around, and the sun is nowhere to be found. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away before the word of God can ever pass away. When you think about it, before any promise of the word of God can be moved out of its place, the sun will have to go out of its place, and the moon will have to go out of its place, and your village and your city and all the locations around, everything will have to go out of their places before the word of God can ever be moved. That shows you then, if it has not happened, and if it cannot happen, while we're still here, before the time of the rapture, that the skies are passed away, and the firmaments, they are rolled over, and the whole earth is gone, no more to be seen. Then you understand the words of Jesus, and the word of God cannot pass away. In First Peter chapter 1. <clears throat> First Peter chapter 1 I'm reading from verse 23 Being born again Not of corruptible seed But of incorruptible By the word of God Which liveth and abideth forever This word is searching And this word is established And this word is fixed And it cannot be moved It says the word of God Which liveth and abideth forever For all flesh is as grass And all the glory of man As a flower of the grass The grass withereth And the flower thereof falleth away But the word of the Lord Endureth forever The word of the Lord Endureth forever When the Lord gives a word on healing a word on salvation, a word on deliverance, a word on answering your prayer, a word on lifting you up, a word on promoting you, a word on blessing you, a word of giving you the heart, your heart's desire. It says, that word of the Lord endureth forever. And then it says, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. This is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. In Second Timothy chapter 3. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All the promises of God, all scripture. All the commandments of God, all scripture. All the encouragement we find in the Bible, all scripture. Everything that you are holding on to, you are standing on, that is solid ground. All scripture, all scripture is given 
by inspiration of God. And it is profitable for doctrine. It is profitable for doctrine. Any doctrine, the doctrine of healing. Any doctrine, the doctrine of deliverance. Any doctrine, the doctrine of God's miracle working power. Any doctrine, the doctrine of encouraging you that whatsoever you ask from the Lord, the Lord will give unto you. Any doctrine that you get out of the Bible, out of the word of God, that doctrine will be profitable. That doctrine will do good in your life and is profitable for reproof and for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. The word of God endures forever and it is eternal. The promises of God will never fail. This is what some religious people do not understand. And they will say the age of miracles has passed. The age of healing the sick is gone. They'll say, the age of helping people by prayer, that's gone. If you need healing now, if you need any help now, they say, God has given you the people that will help you and help your body to be healed. They are telling us that the promises of healing that we find in the Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, they said, all that has passed away. But the Lord said, His word will never pass away. It, the Lord said, the word that comes out of him will accomplish that for which it had been said. The word of healing will never pass away. The word of deliverance will never pass away. And it is still there today. If you are sick, you are healed already. If you are weak, you are strong already. And when you agree with this eternal unchanging word, then the weak will say, I am strong. And the sick will say, I am healed. And the oppressed will say, I am delivered. And the Lord has delivered you in Jesus' name. In Psalm 89, Psalm 89, I'm reading from verse 2. Psalm 89, verse 2. It tells us, for I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Stop there for a moment. Mercy shall be built up forever. How did Jesus heal the people he healed? Because he showed mercy on them. Lord, thou son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is grievously vexed of the devil. It's by mercy. How is it that the blind man receives sight? Lord, have mercy on me. What do you want me to do for you? That I may receive my sight. And the Bible says, The mercy of the Lord shall be built up forever. There is mercy for you this morning. Miracle, mercy for miracle. And mercy to give you your desired miracle. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. In the very heavens, all those faithfulness of the Lord, they are established and they will be established unto you in Jesus' name. If you call upon the Lord today, He will answer you. He will bless you. He will give you your heart's desire. In fact, this is the way the Lord has even put it in the Word of God. In Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45. Here the Lord is telling us that we have whatever we need from the Lord. Isaiah chapter 45, I'm reading from verse 22. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. The Lord is telling us we can look unto him today. And if we look upon him today, he will save us. He will heal us. He will make us whole. He will deliver us. He will set us free. All that we need, the Lord will give unto us in Jesus' name. In fact, when you are standing upon the word of God, there is something surprising the Lord has said in this same chapter. As you look at verse 11, look at verse 11 of Isaiah 45. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and His Maker, ask me, of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hand command ye me look at that look at what confidence the Lord is giving you as a child of God my dear sister look at this you want a change in your children you want a change in your husband you want a change in your home you want a change in your own body 
concerning the works of my hand. Command ye me, my dear brother, you want to change in your wife, a change in your family, a change in your children concerning the work of my hand. Command ye me, or it is that your beloved one is pining away with sickness. Your beloved one is not able to serve you well because of sickness, because of agony, and you are spending all your money on hospitalization, on medicine, and the Lord is saying, you are his son, and you are his daughter, and the word of God comes with boldness and assurance to you. It says, first of all, look unto me, all the ends of the earth, and be saved, and helped, and healed, and delivered, and set free, because I am God, and there is none else. And now you look around you, you say, Lord, I've looked unto you, and I'm saved. And I'm born again And I'm your child But there's a need in my family As I look at my wife You know always sick Always in pain And she's not able to sleep at night As I look at my husband Always sick Always in pain And he's not able As the breadwinner in the family is not able to go out And get something for the family As I look at my husband And he's jobless And he doesn't have anything And I'm the one The woman Instead of just resting As a weaker vessel And the man provides Providing for all my need and all the needs of the children. I had to strive, I had to struggle, I had to run up and down, pay the school fees of the children and pay the house rent. Oh Lord, it should not be like this. My husband must get work and your husband will get work. I said your husband must get work. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker, ask me of things concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hand. Command ye me, my dear brother, you've been in the church for how long now and you are saved and sanctified and filled with the old eagles and you're serving the Lord faithfully. The only bottleneck and the only difficulty, the only hardship on you is that there is no why. 35 years of age, no wife. 40 years of age, no wife. Above 40 years of age, no wife. That hindrance, we're going to take it away this morning. And my dear sister, you are there, and years are coming upon your life. 29, 33, 37, no husband yet. This morning, we're going to turn everything around. Because we, be, we have confidence because of what the Lord has told us. Ask me, the Lord said, ask, we're going to ask. All the need of our lives, we are going to ask. If you are tired asking, I will ask for you. And the Lord will answer in Jesus' name. Ask me of things concerning my sons. And concerning the work of my hands, command ye me. Point number two. The promise in God's established word. The promise in God's established word. Now there are so many promises in the word of God. What I just want to tell you is, all those promises are established. When God says yes, Satan cannot say no. When God says yes, your doctor cannot say no. When God says yes, witches and wizards cannot say no. When God says yes, all the circumstances around you cannot say no. When God says yes, the economy of your country cannot say no. And God has said yes. Everybody say yes. You are in agreement with God? You are in agreement with the Bible? You are in agreement with the promises of God? Say yes again. And the devil cannot contradict that. You are healed already. And you are delivered already. Because heaven has registered your healing. Heaven has registered your deliverance. Heaven has registered your miracle. And because the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, with all the angels of God, and with all the men of God that God used to write, all these words now, all of them together, they have said yes. And because they have said yes, nobody will say no. Nobody will say no. Nobody will say no. In Psalm 89, Psalm 89, verse 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my leaves. That's what God said. He said, my covenant will I not break. He will not break it. I said he will not break it. In Ezekiel chapter 12. Ezekiel chapter 12 And we're looking at verse 25 Ezekiel chapter 12 Verse 25 For I am the Lord I will speak And the word that I shall speak Shall come to pass It shall no longer be prolonged There's no more delay I said there's no more delay 
Today your miracle has come Isaiah chapter 55 Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 For as the rain cometh down And the snow from heaven And returneth not thither But watereth the earth And maketh it bring forth and bud That it may give seed to the sower And bread to the eater So shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth where is the word going out to? It's going out to your soul. It's going out to your body. He sent his word and healed them. And there was no one feeble person among them. He delivered them from all their destructions. The word has come out to you today. And the Bible says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. That means when God says barrenness is over in your life and he sends that to you, that word will not return, your wife will get pregnant for you. Not for another person, I said for you. I said for you. And your miracle will come to you, will not go to another person in Jesus' name. It shall not return unto me void, but... It shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. I am blessed. I am healed. I am delivered. Because today the word of God is coming to me. And the word will accomplish miracle in my life. I said the word will accomplish miracle in my life. Jeremiah chapter 1 Jeremiah chapter 1 Verse 12 Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 Then said the Lord unto me Thou hast Seen well Before I go on Are you seeing well I said do you see the word of God well Do you see that God will never fail Do you see that the word of God Will never fail Do you see that what the Lord has promised Must be accomplished in your life do you see that when God has said yes in your life, the devil cannot say no. Even the feeling of your body cannot say no. All that pain, all the suffering, all the sickness, everything will come to an end. If that is what you see, you have seen well. Have you seen that your wife is well now? I said, have you seen that your wife is now alright? Have you seen that your husband is alright? Have you seen that the miracle of God is coming to you? Have you seen that your children, they are going to do well? Have you seen that the promises of God will never fail in your life? Thou art seen well. Thou art seen well. For I will hasten my word to perform it. You have seen well. And the Lord will hasten the word in your life today. He will perform it in Jesus' name. In Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23. We're looking at verse 19. Numbers chapter 23. We're looking at verse 19. It tells us in his word. It says God is not a man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. As he said and shall he not do it. As he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and he has blessed, and he has blessed. And tell me the rest. Tell me again. Say it aloud. And I cannot reverse it. I need to tell you, the person talking here was somebody that was hired to kill, to destroy, and to defeat the children of Israel. And Balak said, Balaam, I know you. I know you are powerful. I know you are mighty. Anybody you curse, that fellow is gone. Anybody you send your charm against, and you send your soothsaying, and your incantation again, I know the fellow is gone. Come and curse the children of Israel for me. But remember, these were the people of God Like we are people of God And Balaam came And when he saw the people He said, Balak, you called me for a wrong assignment You called me to a wrong place And you called me to fight the wrong people You cannot fight these people Nobody ever fought the children of God And succeeded And nobody will ever fight you and succeed I said nobody will ever fight you and succeed in the day and in the night You are protected by a word of fire 
and no evil will come upon your life. Balaam said unto Balak, Why did you call me to this kind of business? All the money you want to pay will not be able to cost these people. All the incantation that I've been making since I was born, and I've been making incantation on other people, and it has been working, it will never work on these people. It will never work on you. I said it will never work on you. That's why he said, I have received the commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. He has not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him. You see here, is he with us? And a shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, he has a seat one, the strength of an unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what God has wrought. It's your turn this morning. I said it's your turn this morning. Everything shakeable will be shaking out of your life. Anything that God has promised is going to remove will get out of your life today in Jesus' name. Point number three, the power of God's enduring word. The power of God's enduring word. We're told in Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. And there we're reading verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? You know that uh, there are some people when they want to help you. And uh, maybe it's a witch or a wizard that has uh, put some curse on you, some yoke on you, some body in your life, some impossibility on your life. And then some other, maybe herbalists or all these uh, people in the world, they want to help you. And the very day they start helping you, in the night, those evil parts go to them and they say, what are you doing? Are you trying to reverse what we're doing? We put a curse on that individual and you are trying to remove that. Remove your hand from there. If you don't remove your hand, we'll get at you. And then the fellow, when you go the next day, the fellow will say, I suffered such a thing this night. Please, go your way. Go with your problem. Don't, don't, uh, don't come here again. Because those people that were tormenting you, they told me that if I ever try to help you, I get into trouble. I'm suffering already. That's what they say. And there are times that even some of these uh, bread and butter prophets and these uh, money making prophets, these commercial prophets, mercenary prophets, uh, sometimes you go to them. If you are the kind of people running about and roaming about and you don't know your right and you don't know the privilege you have in the Lord, when you go to them, they try to help you. And then they say they are fasting and they are calling some names and they are calling the names of Angel and Jehovah and this and that. And then in the night, those evil people go to them and say, who are you? What are you trying to do? Don't you know we're behind the problem of that lady, the problem of that man? If you call any name of angel again and that fellow comes, if you put any olive oil on that person again, we will get you and destroy you. And then when you go the next time to this uh, mercenary prophet, money making prophet, commercial prophet, and you say, I've come again. Have you finished the fasting? Say, please, oh, don't come here again. Because they told me that this is your case, a special case. That uh, if, I, if I do anything again They say I will go for it So please don't come again Because they don't have the word of the king I said they don't have the word of the king But when you have the word of the king Where the word of the king is There is power And who may say unto him What doest thou As God rises up to heal you this morning Nobody can challenge God and nobody will be able to challenge God Because the word of God is coming to you today And it will set you free in Jesus name Where the word of a king is There is power You have been here since uh, Wednesday night And you have been hearing the word of God Is the word of the king here? I said is the word of the king here? All the preachers that are reading the Bible, all the ministers that are preaching to us, they have been telling us the word of the king. And you see the authority in the word. You see the power in the word. You see the clarity in the word. No matter who has come here to preach, and in all those locations where we are all gathered, all our ministers there, they bring the word of the king. That tells you then, where the word of the king is, there is power. 
And the word of the king is not only on the pulpit Thank God that word of the king is inside your heart It's inside your soul It's inside your mind It's inside your head If I close the Bible And I said everybody give me John chapter 3 verse 16 You will give me without reading the Bible If I say give me Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 You will give me without reading the Bible And if I say give me Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 You will give me without opening the Bible The word of the king is in you I said the word of the king is in you And where the word of the king is There is power And nobody can say to the almighty God What are you doing And that power is here today And he's sending that word to you And that word will heal your body That word will deliver you Psalm 107 verse 20 Psalm 107 verse 20 He sent his word He sent his word Where has he sent his word to? To my heart where has he sent his word to? To your body. Where has he sent the word to? To your family. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. You are delivered. You are set free. You are healed. You are blessed. The word has come to you. The word is working already. Stand up and claim it. And stand up and receive it because the word of God will never fail in your life. This word is mighty. This word is powerful. Remember, your healing is certain. Nobody can reverse it. Your deliverance is certain. Nobody can reverse it. All the miracles of God, the power of God, coming with the word is certain in your life. Nobody will ever reverse it. The word has come to you. And where the word of the king is, there is power. There is power in your mouth because the word of God is there. There is power in your heart because the word of God is there. There is power in your body Because the word of God is there There is authority in your utterance Because the word of God is there Around you there Where you are standing there Where you are sitting there The word of God is there Where you are lying down there The word of God is there And there is power there You are not weak You are strong You have not fallen You are standing And you are not sorrowful You are happy You are not sick again You are well you are not poor again, the Lord has provided for you. You are not unlucky again. You are a favored child of God. Happy child of God. The word of God is with you. And where the word of the king is, there is power. There is power in your life. There is power in your family. There is power in your mouth. There is power in your body. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free already. The word of the king is with you. The word of the Lord is with you. You are well Balaam cannot reverse that You are delivered Balaam cannot reverse that All the abadies cannot reverse it And the extra you have in your hand Cannot reverse it You will not die You will live You will live You will live And you will see the glory of the Lord In the land of the living Your wife has been given to you A good wife a good wife You will not fail again You will not miss it again Your husband has been given to you It will not fail again You will not miss it again Your business will prosper Because the Lord said He will open the windows of heaven And He will shower the blessings upon you Until there will be no room to contain it You will be the head And you will not be the tail You will be strong You will not be weak You are well You will not be sick because the promises of God are yes and amen for you. And Balaam or any Abanese cannot reverse the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you delivered? Have you got the desire of your heart? Raise up your hand and let us confirm it together. Remember, the word that is coming to you now, nobody can reverse it. The healing that is coming to you now, nobody can reverse it. The deliverance coming to you now, nobody can reverse it. Your mountain is moving away. The powers of darkness have been broken. And you are set free in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much this morning because your word is forever settled in heaven. 
And for every brother here, every sister here, you have given us assurance. This word is settled in Jesus' name. All the people that have confessed their sins and turned away from them, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, it is settled that they are forgiven. It is settled that they are saved. It is settled that the children of God now in Jesus' name. Any sickness, any infirmity, you have told us, you are the one that carried our infirmities away. All our infirmity, all our sickness, all our pain, all our suffering has been laid upon you. I pray, Lord, anywhere there is sickness now, in any part of the body, take it away in Jesus' name. Any oppression, any attack, all those evil things, spiritual things crawling about in the body, they have no right to be there. I command those tormenting, crawling, moving spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Because you gave us your word, this I shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. And all those demonic powers, torments, I command, come out in Jesus' name. And Lord, you said, we will serve you. You will bless our bread. You will bless our water. Then you said, no one will be barren among us. All the Sarahs here, all the Annas here, all the Elizabeths here, I bring good news to you. Your barrenness is taken away in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, everywhere now, those men and those women, touch them. Oh Lord, touch them. Oh Lord, touch them. Give them the miracle children in Jesus' name. Were you not the one that said concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hand, command ye me, O Lord, we come with all respect, we come with all honor, and we're standing upon your word. You told us to ask what we want. We want children for the barren. We want children for the barren. And this is your promise. Give unto them in Jesus' name. And Lord, you have said will be the head, will not be the tail. We have heard it before, but we were thinking, can it be, can it not be? Because uh, many of us did not go to university. Many of us did not uh, do a profession or something. We are thinking because of profession, because of economy. Can we still be the head? Oh yes, you are the head. Oh yes, you will be the head. Oh Lord, I pray, promotion and progress will come upon your people. Lead them up in Jesus' name. Provide for all the needs of your people. Miracle provision. Miracle prosperity. Miracle allowances. You bring to everyone in Jesus' name. Your word has gone out. Your word is here. There is power here. There is authority here. Balaam will not reverse the miracle of this morning. Herbalists will not re reverse the miracle of this morning. Bad luck will not remove the miracle of this morning. All the yokes are broken. All the fetters are broken. All the parts of the devil are destroyed. Now we will walk in victory in Jesus' name. Brother, you are blessed. Sister, you are blessed. Young people, children, you are blessed. And your blessing nobody will take away in Jesus' name. Lord, put joy in every heart, laughter in every mouth, happiness in every family, miracle for everyone. Confirm it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Am I blessed? Am I blessed? Am I blessed? What song do you want to sing to show that you are blessed? Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Give me a song over there. Give me a song over there. Praise the Lord. Once that I am delivered, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, 